Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. Today, in this video, let me show the GymTab M18, a native 1080p budget projector. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know what to do. Sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, let's start with a quick unboxing like we normally do. M18 model LED portable projector. This is not very portable, as you guys will see later on. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check the price at the moment. Remember, this is a budget projector, not a thousand pounds projector. So be aware of that. Saying that, let's have a look what we have here. Gym tab, looking good, the matte effect, looks like a brushed aluminium over there. There's a box of goodies, that's a HDMI cable, a very tiny remote control, AV adapter, so you can plug your old RCA unit, a power lead, and the user manual. The manual in this case is written in English with some nice diagrams. The remote control is made of plastic, it looks, it looks cheap to be honest, it has some glow in the dark buttons, but the plastic is very cheap and you need to supply your own batteries. Moving on to the projector itself, the GymTab M18. Remember guys, this is a native 1080p projector with 4500 lumens of brightness. So it's a very powerful projector. Powered by a LED lamp, according to the manufacturer, it should last 50,000 hours. That's three to four hours a day during 15 years. I must say it's a good looking projector, matte black. It's not portable, that's for sure, it's quite big. And starting on this side, you have some vents there. You have a nasty card slot, so you can read your external files. You have a AV port and uh, uh, audio out, so you can plug your headphones or some external speakers. On the back, there is a speaker. You can see it through those vents. There's a VGA port, a IR infrared receiver, two USBs, and two HDMI, so you can plug your external devices. Over here, there's not much, some vents. And on the front, of course, we have the big projector lens and another infrared receiver. On the top of the projector, you have your keystone adjustment and your focus. This projector can project to a screen up to 300 inch. That's quite a big one. Over here, there's some buttons so you can control your projector typical menu buttons. I'll show you the menu in the minute. And of course, a power button. At the bottom of the projector, there's some screws for the projector mount, a sticker with some specs, some more ventilation holes. And here at the front, you have this screw that you can turn to raise the projector up. In order to put the dust cover, you need to rotate the focus so this cover can fit in. And saying that, guys, let's put this projector to the test. Let me plug it to my Mi Box to see what this projector can do. Okay, there you have it, guys. The projection, living room lights on. We are around two meters away. Let's turn the lights off. And as you can see with the lights off, you got a much better brightness and colors, although I still have a, a, a light on the back of the room, so it's not pitch black. Okay, looking at the settings, let's change this to 1080p. It only works in 24 Hz for some reason. If you guys know why, please let me know. But as you can see, 1080p. So starting with YouTube, with a typical 4K video, of course this is not 4K, it will downsize to 1080p, but it will give you an idea. The sound you can hear directs from the projector speaker, 
a pick from, in this case I'm recording this with my phone and probably you can hear the fan noise, which, okay, it's not too loud. And next let's do a test we normally do in this channel when we review the projectors. Let's put some um, pattern lines on the screen, let's adjust the keystone, make it straight. And from this point of view, I think the calls of projector are quite good, especially for the price of this projector. Let's move closer to the screen, which in this case is just my living room wall. And here you can get an idea of the colors, the size of the projection, the lines, the white and the black, and the sharpness. Although in the corners it could be slightly better. Let me show you. See here on the edges. It gets slightly blurry. But I think it's pretty good. Let me go to this side now. Yeah, it gets slightly blurry on the edges. I must say the blacks are pretty good look over there the scale of grays even this white here this should be like I don't know 10% gray this is pure white I think he's doing a good job and I'm projecting directly on my living room wall luckily it's painted in white yeah I'm very happy with this projector So far, so good. All right, now let's turn the lights on to see how the projection will look like. On that side, still okay. Alexa, change living room lights to 50%. Yeah, a bit better now. I think it's pretty good. Let's test another video. Okay guys, let's try some Netflix. And of course, if you want to play some games on the big screen with your friends, this is the way to do it. This is just a snapshot from YouTube. This is not actually me playing, but you can get the idea. And now guys, let's test the fan noise. I tested it with my phone. It is what it is. I get around 50 decibels. And if I put the phone next to the projector really close, I get around 60. And guys, looking at the menus really quick, I'm going to speed the video up a bit. Don't click another video, please. This part is boring. I'm going to speed the video up. Pause if you want to have a quick look. Okay, guys, this is the only problem I found with this projector. So... I'm trying to focus the best I can both edges of the projector that one and that one and of course the middle bit so if I focus that top left corner the middle bit is quite good but this part here is not on focus on the other hand, if I focus that bit there, focus, that top left corner, it's not on focus. And even the middle, it's not really, really good. So, 
think the best thing to do is trying to get the middle and the top left focused and this way we have 80% of the screen except that bit there 80% is focused that bit isn't that bit there so it is what it is other than that I think it's a very good projector nothing else to report here sound is good picture is quite good yeah can't complain let's play some minions and one more final test lights on so you guys can see it I'm playing these files from a USB stick and external drive, let's call it that way, but most of the files are not recognized by the projector. So if you're planning to use this to play all your videos, um, probably it's not the best way to do it. I do recommend getting an external device to play your files like a TV box, uh, Xbox, PS4, whatever, anything that you can use a HDMI connection to plug into the projector. And saying that, guys, let's wrap this video. There's a link down below so you guys can check it out, this projector. If you enjoyed this video, if you like it, click the like button. Don't forget also to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Saying that, thank you for watching. Thank you very much, I must say. And I hope I can see you all in the next one.